This week, Boston-based startup Electro has announced its first electric bicycle designed to fit a more affordable niche, pricing out at just $899 on Kickstarter, while still offering the kind of power that users need. The Electro e-bike uses a 750-watt hub motor combined with a 48-volt battery to propel riders at 20 miles per hour unassisted for 20-plus miles. According to the Population Reference Bureau, bicyclists account for fewer than 1% of all commuters, though the average person spends about 25 minutes traveling to work each morning, usually by car. Lectro, founded in 2016 by a team of engineers and designers from MIT, hopes to establish a new benchmark in electric biking, perhaps making it easier to swap out the more traditional modes of transportation for the bike. And the power supporting Lectro means users can do less pedaling and more chillin', or more wheelies. Cue the wheelies. Each full feature bike comes with disc brakes, programmable LCD display, headlight, mud flaps, six speed Shimano gear set, aluminum frame, and four inch fat tires. Electro, I dare you to send us a bike. I dare you to send us a bike. Light up clothing, medical sensors, and electronic wallpaper are just a few of the possible future applications that may be enabled by flexible and printable electronics using carbon based materials. The University of Bath is leading a collaborative research project called Extemos? Extemos? Extended Model of Organic Semiconductors helps to develop new organic semiconductor materials and additives that can be printed onto flexible film to create devices that are low cost, flexible, wearable, and lightweight. But in order to bring these products to market, the properties of organic semiconductors need to be improved and their production costs lowered. Currently, problems with poor electrical conductivity make them unreliable. Extemos will identify a new generation of materials for these devices with a new approach. And project leaders say that by theoretically predicting the motion of electronic charges, they will be able to test out new materials in a virtual environment before making and testing the most promising materials combinations in the lab, thus accelerating development of new materials and device structures. Guys, you had me at electronic wallpaper. We could have stopped there. And finally, in Animal Skull news, you heard that right, Animal Skull News. Jewelry and collectibles maker Fire and Bone have launched a new line derived from real animal skulls. Using 3D scanning and 3D printing, the company creates incredibly accurate miniature skull replicas that, quote, are highly detailed and faithful to nature's design. Their process begins with the actual animal skull, which is scanned and then scaled down on a computer to avoid any loss of detail. Additionally, the team at Fire and Bone works closely with an experienced family-owned casting house to create the pieces using a lost wax method in order to ensure the retention of a high level of detail. If you want your own skull, check out Fire and Bone's Kickstarter, where they've basically quintupled their goal to fund some of the upfront costs. A mere $35 investment will get you a pendant of your choice along with matching chain. If I wear the raccoon one, does it send a stay out of my trash cans kind of message? I'm Anna Wells, standing in for David Manti this week, and this is Engineering by Design.